Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, its uh, side uh, A, B is uh, 5 units, the side uh, C, D is uh, 2 units, and moreover, this angle B, C, D is 135 degrees, and furthermore, uh, these angles and these angles uh, are uh, 90 degrees each and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded quadrilateral uh, a b c d please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step we know this angle is uh, 90 degrees likewise this angle is 90 degrees this angle is uh, 135 degrees. Now we are going to calculate uh, this angle uh, BAD. And now let's recall the interior angle sum formula. If that is equal to N minus 2 times 180 degrees. Where N represents the number of uh, polygon sides. And since we are dealing with this uh, quadrilateral, so therefore our N value has got to be equal to 4. So therefore our interior angle sum is going to be 4 minus 2 times 180 degrees. That is going to give us 2 times 180 degrees. That means our interior angle sum for this quadrilateral is going to be 360 degrees. So therefore our this angle BAD turns out to be 45 degrees. Because if we add all these uh, four uh, angles, that adds up to 360 degrees. And now we are going to think uh, outside the box. So therefore, we are going to draw some auxiliary lines to make our job simple. As you can see in this uh, next step. And here I have extended this uh, line uh, AD and this uh, side BC. And both of them meet at each other at this point E. And now let's focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABE. And let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. And we know our this angle is 45 degrees. Uh, this angle is uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle uh, BEA has got to be 45 uh, degrees. So therefore we conclude that this triangle uh, ABE is our isosceles triangle. Since uh, this angle is 45 degrees uh, and this angle is 45 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, side length uh, AB has got to be equal to this side length uh, BE. If this side length is uh, 5 then this uh, BE side length has got to be 5 units as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, angle uh, BCD, which is uh, 135 degrees. And we know that this uh, whole uh, straight angle is uh, 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining angle DCE has got to be 45 uh, degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, tiny triangle CDE. And we can see that this angle uh, CDE is a 90 degree angle. And we could see that this uh, triangle uh, CDE is an isosceles triangle as well. Since this angle is 45 degrees and likewise this angle is 45 degrees as well. And since this uh, triangle CDE is an isosceles triangle, so therefore uh, this side uh, CD has got to be equal to this side uh, DE. If this uh, CD side length is 2, then this uh, DE side length has got to be 2 units as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, yellow shaded quadrilateral uh, area is going to be equal to the area of the triangle uh, ABE. We are talking about this uh, big uh, right triangle ABE minus uh, the triangle uh, CDE area. We are talking about this uh, tiny right triangle uh, CDE area. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this triangle uh, ABE 
and likewise we are going to calculate the area of the triangle C D E as well. So therefore we are going to calculate the area of the triangle A B E first. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times the base times the height. And in our case, uh, the base of this triangle ABE is uh, 5 units, whereas the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, 5 units as well. So therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So the area of this triangle ABE has got to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, our base is 5 and the height is uh, 5 units as well. And that is going to give us uh, 25 divided by 2 and that is going to be equal to 12.5 square units. So thus the area of this triangle ABE turns out to be 12.5 and in this uh, next step we are going to calculate the area of this uh, tiny right triangle uh, CDE as well and we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula as well. And the area is a half times the uh, base times the height. And in our case, uh, the base of this uh, triangle is 2 and the height of this uh, triangle is 2 as well. So therefore, the area of this triangle CDE is going to be 1 divided by 2 times our base is 2 and the height is uh, 2 units as well. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us 2 square units. So thus the area of this triangle CDE turns out to be 2 square units. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded quadrilateral uh, ABCD. So therefore let's recall this equation once again. The yellow shaded uh, equilateral triangle uh, area is going to be equal to the area of the triangle uh, ABE minus uh, the area of the triangle uh, C, D, E and we already figured out uh, our triangle uh, A, B, E area is 12.5 uh, and the area of the triangle uh, C, D, E is uh, 2 as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. Uh, so therefore uh, our yellow shaded area is going to be equal to our triangle A, B, E area is 12.5 uh, uh, minus uh, the CDE area is uh, 2 and if we subtract the right hand side uh, our uh, yellow shaded uh, area has got to be 10.5 square uh, units. So thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of the yellow shaded quadrilateral uh, ABCD turns out to be 10.5 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye